Cubs, heat race, box stops. On the front row inside the two car is Chad Bendy. That's Mini Me. He was my co-announcer last week. Number 28 on the outside, Justin Winters. Let's see, who else we got out there? We got the 24 car of Jason Burrell. We have the 37 car of Dustin Anderson. And we have the 16 car of Jake Gomes. This will be the first heat race. Box stocks. Ankle biters. Flagman's worst nightmare. Should I throw the radio out the window? Huh? Green flag. Looks like Chad Bandy oh, gets away outside. Let's Justin Winters take that move on the bottom. Gets a crossover, takes over the lead. Justin Winters holding on the front. Chad Bandy in second. Moving we'll back to Dustin Anderson. That 37 car trying to now make a move up on Chad Bandy. Track's looking a little better, not so much dust. At least we can see the little guys going around the track. Popping in and banging. Justin Winters seems to be stretching the lead a little. As that 16 car, Jay Gomes trying to work his way up onto that 37 car of Dustin Anderson. Looks like he's starting to reel him in a little bit. See if he can't move up and take over that third position. That seems to be the race on the track right now. He moves up to the outside. Doesn't seem to help him. The trick is to stay on the bottom. Hold the line. 16 doing everything he can back there. Try to move up. He's right on the bumper. Dustin Anderson, there he goes, he's trying to make that inside move, doesn't make it work, Dustin Anderson closes the door, coming around for the white flag this time around, for Justin Winter, in that 28 car, flat out flying, Chad Bindi holding on to second, there he is, Justin Winters, Chad Bindi, Dustin Anderson, and Jake Gomes. And we have that 24 car, Jason Burrell, and me and Chris Green in the 41 car. All right, another heat race. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. My tape player just all of a sudden stopped working, Pete. I need a new one. I don't know what happened to it. Let's see, front row, inside, an 80 car. Trevor, dang. On the outside of Trevor in that 34 car. Mike Messer. It looks like, I can't see the number, but I'm betting that's 87, Kelvin Lewis. On that inside second row, Kelly Monroe in that 14 car. An 88 car, Travis Day. Then on that outside back row in the 36 car, Ashley Alberti. Got to keep them lined up. Oh, oh, we got a little bit of a mess there on the start. Looks like it's not going to get started. They were trying to go on the big track. 
trying to step it up a notch. start and the green flag is out as they come into turn one. Looks like Mike Messer takes off with the early lead. All right, Mike Messer pulling off that start, taking over the early lead and then they get the 14 car. Kelly Monroe right there in second with Kevin Lewis. Banging on the back door now, 36 child. Oh, and then Ken Kelly Monroe takes over the lead. Mike Messer, we got a yellow out. Yellow flag, whoa, everybody misses him. Good job, Kelvin. Swerved and missed that car. Trevor Day looks like he's having some mechanical problems and now he's gonna head into the infield. That leaves you with Kelly Monroe holding on to the lead. You, get out of my spot. Somebody's not Walter. says, I need to get married. But I said, Mom, I cannot even pay somebody to go out with me. She said, I don't believe that, son. Well, so I stayed with her a couple weeks, and she believes it now. All right, green flag is back out. Kelly Monroe will do the lead. Mike Messer in second. With Ashley Alberti coming on the inside. Takes over that second spot for Mike Messer. Now Kelvin Lewis putting on pressure for that third spot. Everybody's putting on pressure. Travis Day is right there. We got us a battle back there for that third, fourth, and fifth position. Now they're side by side coming into turn three. Looks like it's going to be Kelvin Lewis taking over that position. Now Travis Day is starting to make a move on the inside. It makes it work. He gets right on by. Kelly Monroe is starting to open up a very good lead now. Looks like she's got a commanding grip on this race. With Ashley Alberti holding on to a very strong second, Calvin Lewis and Travis Day. Kelly Monroe coming around to get the right flag this time around. Ashley Alberti, Calvin Lewis, Travis Day. Mike Messer coming around. Here comes the checker. All right, Kelly Monroe, the winner. Ashley Alberti taking that second spot with Kelvin Lewis and Travis Day. Somebody's got some money. car, David Johnson. On the outside of David in that 17 car is Quick Nick DiCarlo. Then we move back to the 73 car of Daryl King. Then we have the 93 car of Jam and James Carpenter. As they're pushing in and banging in and banging in and pushing in and pushing in and shoving coming for the green. And they get the green with Nick DiCarlo taking that outside lane and making it work for him as he jumps off to an early lead. David Johnson in second. Jam and James Carpenter way up on the top side. He's going to lose some ground. Now Darrell King gets the move on the inside. Takes over that third position. Got up there and they lose stuff and it was all over. Yellow flag is out. For some reason. Must be a hot dog wrapper on the track or something. Nope. Oh. 
little bigger than a hot dog wrapper. This coil is going to drive me nuts. Someone's going to get hurt. Trying to make a move up on the inside of Daryl King. Can't even hold oh, him when he gets together a little bit. Almost took out flag man. Almost killed the flag man. Almost had to go down to the hospital and get his feet sewed back on. Almost took his feet right off. do that job unless them poles on the flags were at least 10 feet long. I'd be doing it from up there on the front nose of that tractor. All right, quick Nick DiCarlo, holding on to the lead in this heat race. With David Johnson, holding on to second, banging in a motion, here they go. Green flag is back out for Nick DiCarlo. David Johnson, Daryl King, and James Carpenter. Daryl King now trying to make that move on David Johnson. Doing everything he can now. James Carpenter making a move on the inside of Daryl King. Can he make it work? Does they get together a little bit? He does. He makes a nice pass. He makes a nice pass on Daryl King. He takes over that third spot. Now he's got a sight set of the white flag comes out for Nick DiCarlo. Now James Carpenter has got his sights set on David Johnson, that 33 car, see if he can't prove that spot. Nick DiCarlo comes across the line for that checkered flag, but Nick DiCarlo, winner of the heat race. David Johnson in second, Jim and James Carpenter in third, and Daryl King holding on for that fourth spot. in this heat race. Looks like we got the 13 car, Sean Labor. We got the 23 car out there, Joey Brazil. Rodney Bunston in that 44 car. Mike Hammond in that 32 car. Daryl Moore in the 77 car. And the two car is Dean Labatt. And I didn't even have to look at my paper once. I knew everybody. Woo! I deserve a woo for that one. I'm learning something.
69 car sounded like it started having a little bit of motor problems right there at the end, but he holds on to it. Rick took the first, holding on to second. Then we've got the 43 car, Joey Foreman, holding on to that third spot. Jason Newton holding on to four. Side of Joe and that nine car, Tab Butler. Inside, second row of the 23 car, Virginia Patterson. Then we have the 69 car on the outside of Virginia, and that 69 car is Dave Anderson. Then we move back. Oh, there in the back by himself. In the 36 car, Travis McCullough who found himself last week with two tires on the track and two tires on the cyclone fence while trying to lap a slower car. Let's see if he has some better luck this week. Yo, light is out. Inside is going to be the 99 car, and that 99 car is Sean Wright. Uh -huh. On the outside of Sean in the 25 car, Todd Dennett. We move to the inside, that 15 car, Mark Holman. Then on the outside of Mark is going to be, I guess, the 69 car, the 69 M car. And I don't have a number on that car, but I know that the 46 car is Garrett Boyden. And then number one car is Barry Priest. As the yellow light is out. And the green flag is out. Barry Priest now trying to make up his move up there through the back. Takes over the 
second spot for Sean Ryan. Sean Ryan looks like he's shot a little bit. He's coming really off the ground, coming out of this area. Now Barry Breeze trying to make a move on the inside of that 69 car. Inside second row of Jeff Kent in that 28 car. And on the outside of Jeff in that 85 car is Everett Mullins. <laughs> then we move back to that 78 car of Kevin Hunter. And the yellow light is out. Let's see if we can get a good start here. And we do, we have a green as Dale Morris takes off the beer with the lead. Goes out into that front spot. With Bob Edwards holding on to second. And Kevin Hunter in that 78 car. And Jeff Kent right there in four trying to do what he can to catch on up. Looks like they are, got their cars a little bit too tight. But we got the four car seems to be a little left hand flying. Still boys trying to walk away with the lead now. And that 35 car, Bob Edwards, holding on to second. Third way back there. Dan and Hunter holding on to that third spot. Way back Dustin Himes out there in that 023 car. Dustin has his sister riding with him tonight in the car in the old crazy passenger side. So she's along for the ride. See, we got that 333 car out there. Matt and Brad Jones. 
got the 036 of Greg McCullough. We've got the 188 of George Pierce. And that car is for sale for $550. You can be racing. You and a partner can be racing. Let's see, we've got that 051 car. Butler Racing. I don't know who the 2222 car is. But the 357 car is Chet Hopkins, who is also celebrating a happy anniversary today. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Does anybody know who drives the 222 car? Sullivan? Really? What's his first name? Cool. Alright, looks like we got a green flag with a Hopkins Pendo out there in the front. See if he could win one for the anniversary. Oh, that's three, three, three. Oh, and two, two. Oh, and they're all getting bunched up over there in the corner. But they're all going, oh, and they're three abreast coming into the turns. Boy, they're really going for it with that three, three, three and that 036 car. Now here comes Butler racing on the inside in that 051 trying to make a move. Everybody's trying to get up there in the front. We've got a little banging going on up there. A little bit of rubbing. Everybody keeps it together, though. Now we've got Matt Brad. Oh, oh, as the Himes unit spins around backwards, headed the wrong way on the track. And we go yellow. Who's going to win? Oh, five, one. We had joy, we had fun. We were driving 051. Green flags out, we're back to racing. 333, three, three. Matt Brad Jones take off back into the lead with that 051 right there on the rear bumper. Drafting them all right on the back stretch now. We've got that 222 car of Jeff Silva now in that third spot. Jeff Sullivan. Oh, we got a mess back here as Hines is up into the infield now. Butler Racing trying to make the inside move. Can he do it? Oh, they get, they get together a little bit, but they get it straightened out. And they come through the corner now. 333 is getting a lot of control now as Jeff Sullivan moves up into that second spot. Doing a fine job in that 222 car. It doesn't look like it steers with a darn, but he's getting it up through the pack. Got a mean push now. 333 is going to have a chance to get back in on the inside. Can he do it? No, he can't take it away. Brother Racing out in the lead. That 051 car. Jeff Sullivan in second. Brad Brad Jones in third. White flag is out. This time by for that Butler Racing Toyota Celica. Hooked up and going. One more set of turns and it's his race. Jeff Sullivan in second. Jones Brothers holding on to that third. That's a 3-3-3 in third. And that's the way they'll finish. Third with a 3-3-3.
car on the inside front row in that 36 car is Ashley Alberti on the outside Ashley in that two car is Chad Bindi then we have the 14 car of Kelly Monroe and we have the 28 car Justin Winters as they come across for the green flag Chad Bindi jumping off into that early lead Ashley Alberti getting this little bit Really coming out of the corner now. Kelly Monroe starting to make some move on the inside. Now they're all bunched up. Now they're getting together. It's 20. Justin Winters makes a move on the bottom. Now he's got his sight set on Kelly Monroe in that 14 car, trying to move it up into that second spot. As Chad Bindi starting to pull away with a commanding lead in this trophy dash. Oh, and 20 trying to make a move on the outside. Can't get it done. White flag is out for Chad Bitty. Now they're trying to come across the line all bunched up. With Kelly Monroe holding on to that second. Justin Winters in second. And Ashley Alberti, that's how they'll finish. Chad Bitty bringing home the win in the trophy dash. All right. Good job, that's Bitty B. Inside in a 73 car, Daryl King on the outside of Daryl in a 93 car, James Carpenter. Then we have the 33 car of David Johnson. Then in the back row, winner of your heat race tonight in a 17 car, Quick Nick DiCarlo. Daryl King 
and David Johnson get together there on the start, loop it out, almost took out our flag man's ankles again, almost had to have his ankles sewn back on, hey, hey, hey you hoodlums, you bunch of hoodlums, don't make me sick security on you. All right, back to green flag. James Carpenter taking out with that lead. Nick DiCarlo in second. Now he's trying to make the inside move. There he goes. Nick DiCarlo takes over the lead. Coming in the three. With James Carpenter in second. Trying to link in. And Daryl King back there trying to make the inside move on David Johnson. He goes to the outside. Nick DiCarlo in the lead for the trophy dash of the modified box dogs. Jim and James Carpenter holding on to second. The Johnson in there for third. Looks like Daryl King's going to pull it off in the infield. White flag is out. Nick DiCarlo. One more time around. Can he hold on to it? I think he can. Here he comes. Quick. Nick DiCarlo. Oh, and Jamie James Carpenter loops it out on the last turn. Gives David Johnson the second. Jamie James Carpenter coming across the line in the third. Looks like we're cut the first. Be on that inside front row. Sean Labor on the outside of that front row. And we go to Dean Labatt and Mike Hammond. Who's it gonna be? saved by Sean Lehrer, but we got the restart flag out, we'll get them all grouped back up, see if we can't get this race up and started properly. We got the inside front row with a nine car, Tab Butler on the outside, Virginia Patterson, that 23 car, and then we move back to the second row down there on the inside of the 69 car, Dave Anderson. Then we move right over to the outside of that last row of the 36 car. It's going to be Travis McCullough. And they show him the cone. Here they come. The green flag is out and flying. Tab Butler takes over the early lead. 
Well, they put it right on in there. Tap out. Like it said a good job of breaking right there. That's what I like to see. Some good clean driving right there. Travis McCullough did everything he can. Got on the brakes. Missed Tap Butler. Now Virginia Patterson now uh, on that second spot. With Travis McCullough way out in front now. Virginia Patterson in second. And Dave Anderson in third. Tap Butler dropped way back and forth after getting just the way sideways in the corner. Looks like he's coming around for the white flag this time. It's going to be Travis McCullough holding on to that lead. Virginia Patterson, Dave Anderson. Here he comes. One more set of turns. Can he do it? Travis McCullough coming across. Winner. Mini stock. Trophy dash. All right. Good race. front row of the 15 car of Mark Holman on the outside of Mark in the 69 car don't have a name 69 M then we have the 46 car of Garrett Boyden on the outside rear row and that number one car is Barry Priest <laughs> trying to close in on the lead. He's right on the back bumper. He's going to try to make that inside move work. Let's see if we can see some good driving here. They get through the corner okay, and they got the 222 car back there of Jeff Sullivan. 
trying to make a move on the inside and take away that second spot, and he does, and he does a clean move on the inside of that Butler Racing team. Now he's got a sight set on a 333 car. Oh, and he gets up into 333 just a little bit now. Butler Racing now starting to make a move on the inside and take over that second spot. Jeff Sullivan now the leader of this race as he comes around for the white flag, and Butler Racing is right there, and so is the Jones brother. It's still anybody's race now as 222 has a little problem with the corner and Butler Racing now in that second spot. Going to try to wind up and make a move on this last set of turns. He's going for the inside. Can't get it done. It's Jeff Sullivan. Comes across the line as your winner. And Butler Racing 051 comes across in second. Got the man Brad Jones in third. And Chad Hopkins. So happy anniversary to Chad Hopkins. And her name is Carrie, and it is Carrie's birthday today. And I believe that's Carrie standing out there. Carrie, wave. Everybody. At once, everybody, want everybody to say happy birthday. You ready? And go. All right. That was a good one. I could have been better, but it was good. All right. So we'll get the trophy girl over there. Who's first? Looks like we're over here at the 17 car. The winner of our trophy dash in the modified box stocks this evening, Quick Nick DiCarlo. <laughs> Accepting his trophy from Kerry with a little kiss on the cheek. All right. Let's see, now we move over to Mini Me, Chad Bindi. Your box stock trophy dash winner this evening. Everybody give him a big woo! Because he was our announcer last week. Now our right, lovely Carol will move over to the 15 car. Winner of our 250 trophy dash, Mark Holman. All right. Then we move over to the 600 trophy dash winner. In that 32 car, Mike Hemman. Woo! All right. Now we'll go on over to our mini stocks. In that 036 Pinto out there is Travis McCoy, winner of the Trophy Dash. Now we move it right on over to our bomber division in that 222 car. In that 222 car tonight driving is Jeff Sullivan, winner of the Bomber Trophy Dash. All right. Good job. like in that front row in the 14 car is going to be Kelly Monroe on the outside of Kelly in that 28 car Justin Winters then we move to the outside inside of that second row in that 36 car Ashley Alberti now we're missing someone up here on the outside of that second row. Who's it going to be? Give me a driver. I don't know about that third row on the inside in that 87 car. Kelvin Lewis. On the outside of Kelvin in that 37 car, 
Dustin Anderson. On the outside, or the inside of the next row, looks like it's going to be the lead car of Travis Day. On the side of Travis in the 16 car is going to be Jake Gomes. Then we move back to the next row in that 34 car, Michael Messer. On the outside of Michael in that 24 car is Jason Burrell. Then in the back row, on the inside, in that 80 car, Trevor Day. On the outside of Trevor in a 41 car is going to be me, Chris Green. And here comes our missing car. Looks like he's going to be in that outside second row in the two car. Mini me, Chad Bindi. All right, now let's get ready for some box stock. A main event action. Flagman, beware. Watch your feet. Because here comes the heat. And the green flag is out. Taking out with the early lead and Ashley Alberti in second. Oh, and we've 